Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the bush dog. This carnivorous animal also has the scientific name Speothos venaticus, sometimes also going by savanna dog and vinegar dog due to its distinctive vinegar-like smell. These Central and South American natives can be up to two and a half feet long and weigh 15 pounds, also living up to being 10 years old. The bush dog is a unique canine, and despite it having an extensive range, it's very rare in most areas, except for Suriname, Guyana, and Peru. And ironically, it was first identified by Western science from fossils in Brazilian caves and was believed to be extinct. The bush dog is the only living species in the genus Speothus, and genetic evidence suggests that its closest living relative is the maned wolf of Central South America or the African wild dog. Bush dogs are an unusual canid that's rare and very little is known about it. It has a somewhat squat body and has an appearance more akin to a mustelid, which is the badger and otter family. But make no mistake, it is definitely a dog species. They also have long reddish brown coats and unique webbed feet. So it's an ideal swimmer in wetlands or tropical rivers. Absolutely loving to live in semi-deciduous forests, lowland forests, seasonally flooded forests, and wet savannas, always living close to water. Now, we have very little information about the behavior of this elusive species as it's been very difficult to locate in the wild to observe. Much of what we know about them is due to studying captive populations, as well as the rare report of observations made in the wild. We do know they tend to be active during the daytime, and as I stated earlier, they're very much associated with water. During the night, these animals rest in a den, which could be inside the trunk of a fallen tree or an abandoned armadillo nest. Either way, just like many other canines, they live in social groups of up to 12 members. And when they're hunting, there's usually at least two of them together, often going for large rodents. However, in more open areas, it seems that bush dogs will hunt alone for small rodents. But in dense vegetated areas, they tend to hunt in packs and are able to kill prey much bigger than themselves, including rhea and capybara. They're very organized when they do this because their packs have been observed breaking into two groups when they hunt larger prey, one chasing them on the land and the other waiting for the prey if they try to escape into the water. And due to this organization, the species produces a wide range of contact calls, perhaps because communication by visual means is not easy in dense forests. We also know that bush dogs are monogamous and live in extended family groups. The offspring are produced by one alpha female and these animals mate throughout the year with a gestation period that lasts up to 67 days and a litter of between one to six pups. During these periods, the non-breeding group members guard, clean, and carry the pups, and males will bring food to the mother in the den. This will continue while the pups are from eight weeks until five months old, and at this point, they venture outside of the dens. Unfortunately though, just like many other amazing and rare animals, bush dogs are considered as near threatened, and their numbers today continue to decrease. Now, for their abilities and their influence on their habitat, for my one to three rating, I'll give the bush dog a rating of two, which is a savage rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to find the perfect predator.